Hello Earth Signs, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out your person in mind, a love interest. What fascinates them the most about you? Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me for Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Their person in mind what fascinates them the most about our signs oh This person actually does love you, okay? They have romantic feelings for you. I've got ten of pentacles. And this person could be a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Four of wands, six of wands. Got the four of pentacles, huh? <laughs> okay. So it feels like this is somebody who loves you. And um, two of cups sometimes. The person you have in mind, but this reading is for your love interest, okay? Unless this could also be a best friend. Really, really, really good friend. That's for some of you only. But Two of Cups, you're definitely somebody very loving, very caring, and uh, very fair. Because the reason why I'm saying it's fair, because these Two Cups are about the same. It's like give and take, you know? Um, if you give, if, if they were to give you something, if they show you any sorts of you know, kindness, or if they have helped you in some way, shape, or form, you will do the same. It's like whatever people give to you, you, you give back, okay? So perhaps you have helped your person before, you have done something for your person before, and or they have done something for you, and you do the same for them. So it's kind of like this equal exchange that I'm getting here. And the tower in reverse also, this is like... They, um, they, what really fascinates your person about you is how you can do a lot of damage control, okay? Um, because the Tower of Verse, sometimes it reminds me of if there is a disaster or chaos going on, like you are, you maintain your calm or that you just know the solution to the problem. Um, yeah, and six of wands here also indicates you being somebody very successful. They're fascinated by people who admire you, that they are not the only one who admires you. Uh, there are many, many other people too admiring you. And the six of wands also can indicate leadership. So there, you have this leadership quality about you. And, you know, you're sitting on a high horse here, on a horse, and these people supporters uh, of course not on a horse so for some of you you may be you may have won something in your life you may have achieved something um, and a, you may have been given an award presented award an award or you know just you being a champion you winning things like you're always sort of like one step ahead of people uh, around you or that you're just somebody very successful more successful than perhaps any girl or any guys <laughs> that they've ever met before. Um, definitely a winner energy, a champion energy that I'm getting here. So they're really fascinated by, could be a past achievement. Past achievements, I feel like there could be a few that you may have achieved. For some of you, it's you, you know, winning some sort of competition, whether it's in sports or beauty pageants, whatever, okay? <laughs> um, or just you being a leader, like a manager, or if you work somewhere, and there's something about, I feel like it may be like a, an authority kind of an energy. Your person may be fascinated with the way you lead the people, lead your employee. Um, if you're a boss, you know, something about these powerful qualities that uh, fascinates them, okay? I don't know how to really explain this one, the Six of Wands, but it's definitely 
really, really good. Um, there's so many meanings to this, but also six of wands is somebody very attractive. So they may f be fascinated by the way you look. And you, you're most likely are better looking than a lot of people they have known or met before, okay? All right, so we've got the eight of wands here in one verse, and we got the nine of swords in one verse. Okay, so on this row here, it looks like you're somebody, right, or signs where you always try to, if you have any issues, if you're sad, you always try to solve it yourself. You don't really want to tell people. If you can do it yourself, you rather not bother anybody. Um, so that makes that gives that illusion that you are somebody really strong so your love interest may see you as a very strong person because you know you are it's like you don't really want to bother other people with your problems you try and solve it yourself it's not so some of us feels like you don't really want to talk about it eight of ones and one you really don't want to talk about it again and then the five of cups here in the upright position and you just want to face it yourself okay and we've got the four of cups here in reverse and we've got the nine of swords here you're definitely very considerate uh, if, uh your person feels that also um, that you are somebody whom uh again i keep getting this problem solving thing like you're really 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 good at solving problems because the nine of swords is somebody whom could be stressing out, thinking a lot, perhaps thinking about solving issues, okay? And the Four of Cups here in love first, so that you won't miss any opportunity or something is not going to be missed. Um, and you pay attention to details as well. You don't miss anything. Yep, that's what it is. You don't miss anything because your brain is constantly thinking, moving, <laughs> functioning uh so that's one thing that uh your person could be fascinated about you and the ten of pentacles here and with the four ones some of you you may have a really tidy home or very beautiful home uh, it can be in different way shape or form some of you it's a luxury home they may be fascinated by how big your home is how luxurious your fo your home is for some of you uh, they're fascinated with fascinated by how tidy or how organized it is right for ones here or how beautiful it is some of you may have a lot of plans in your home or the way you decorate it because the pentacles can it looks like decoration the way you decorate or your decorating skills okay so they're impressed or fascinated by your home the way you manage it the way you decorate it or the way it looks Mm, it's a very peaceful vibe that I'm getting here, okay? Let's see more. And the Ten of Pentacles also can indicate family. For some of you, they may be fascinated by the fact that you are very close to your family or that you place a very important, like, play, you play importance in your family. Am I saying it right? <laughs> but, um,. Like, your your family is very important to you, yeah, for some of you only, okay? But also, Ten of Pentacles, there's a lot of money here. Some of you, it's you being rich. They're fascinated by the fact that you're rich. Some of you, you work hard for it. Some of you, you may be inherited by, uh, inherited like a home or money from your parents. And Four of Pentacles here, you're really, really good at managing your money or that, um, because Four of Pentacles is somebody who knows how to save their money or manages their money. And for some of you, maybe you work really hard. You've come to a point where you've collected all of these Ten, ten of Pentacles. Also because of your, you know, uh, your good management skills when it comes to your finances. The Six of Wands. The way you dress as well, that's another thing that I'm seeing. Uh, your person may be fascinated by the way you dress um and we've got the five pentacles here in my first so for some of you you may have come from rags to riches or you may have started from the bottom and then now you're up with the six of wands here right now you're at a position where you are 
maybe 601s again can indicate somebody who has won something like you're the champion and maybe you have um, you have su successfully um, turn your wealth around okay turn your finances around five pentacles here in first yeah this stretch for me looks like because of your skills because of the way you know how to manage your your finances or how hard you work um could have led to your success now so they're definitely impressed by that or fascinated by how for some of you again that you may have come from wrecks to riches like all that you could doesn't matter you may come from a rich family but if you start everything on your own without any help from your family that counts as well okay <laughs> this is uh, a different reading earth signs i'm just testing it out uh wondering if you guys are gonna like it um just hit like share and subscribe if you like it because i can see it um and for some of those other readings like different questions if i see that not many people like it or not too many views i'll scratch it and i won't do it again okay so if you really like this type of reading or this reading in particular uh, don't forget to hit like share and subscribe all right earth signs virgo taurus and capricorn this is your reading oh i forgot about the fool here and reverse very good at uh, calculating risks that's another thing um for a lot of you guys are signs or that you are willing to take risks in your life as as uh, comfortable as you are or as stable as you are but you're willing to take some risks and be and go silly too sometimes there's this balance that i'm getting here okay so a person may be fascinated by that as well but anyway air signs i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below in the description box below sorry <laughs> that was the i couldn't really speak my nose is still a little bit stuffy but um i'm getting so much better i should have taken the antibiotics i should have gone to the doctor a long time ago but I waited and waited and waited and it just got worse and worse and worse. But anyway, I um, hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye, Earth Signs.